This is by far the easiest way to get started with Olama. And for those of you who don't know Olama, obviously highly recommended project that you should definitely check it out. This is the website and it basically allows you to run LLMs locally. You have many alternatives. All the models are right here. Llama Free, Phi, Wizard LLM, Mistral, etc. Most of the people using AI these days are using Llama Free. And when you usually run Olama, you run it locally with the com via the command line. And today I wanted to share with you something new. It's called Page Assist. And it's basically a GitHub repository that allows you to run Olama via a Chrome extension. And it's not limited to Chrome only. These are the supported browsers. So Chrome, Brave, Firefox, and Edge. And basically what you need to do, you have to download Olama, download the models, and then you can start using Olama directly via your Chrome extension, your as a Chrome extension via your browser. So this is the Chrome store. I just added here this extension. You can see it right here. And whenever you click that extension, this windows open up. You can select which model you'd like to use. You can select different prompts. You have prompt history. You have in settings area, you can select if you'd like to use a speech to text. You can delete, obviously, um, chat history. You can select which embedding model you would like to use. In my case, I'm using Nomic, Nomic Embed Text. By the way, if you're not sure how to use or download Nomic Embed Text, you can just come to this web to the Olama website and write Nomic. Click here and copy this code to your command line. And just paste it and it will pull the latest version yeah so back here you can select the chunk size and the chunk overlap you can provide a system prompt for your rag managing models over here managing models uh, margin, managing knowledge basically uploading different knowledge bases and manage prompts you can save different prompts in the library over here so for example, write, summarize, sum of email, summarize, summarize the email, etc. And then you add it as a prompt and this is saved. And when you start a new prompt, you can select this prompt. It's basically uh, some it's, it's kind of similar to canned responses you have a bunch of prompts over here that you can use all the time here you can search the internet you can sp use a speech to text and you can also upload images if the model supports the images like if the model has vision capabilities which is pretty cool so just as an example hey can you help me with writing a short LinkedIn post about using agents, AI agents in marketing. Let's see, it is searching the web. Although I didn't intend it to search, but I just didn't turn on off the toggle. Let's see what it produces. In the meantime, uh, another cool thing about this, regardless of the fact that it's, uh, as you saw, it's very easy to get up and running and you don't need even to use the command line. Let's see what it writes. Boost your marketing efforts with AI agents. As marketers, we're always looking for ways to streamline our processes and maximize our impact. That's where AI agents come in. By leveraging the power of artificial intelligence, we can automate routine tasks gain insights from vast amounts of data and even create personalized content that resonates with our audience. Blah, blah, blah. And it also shares the sources. Okay, pretty cool. Um, actually, more than I expected, before uh, 
this demo I just played around with this extension but I didn't use the the web searching because I didn't didn't think it will deliver but I'm surprised in a good way so yeah the last thing that I wanted to share with you before we conclude the video which is very short today is the fact that you can also use this Chrome extension as a sidebar and then it can it knows to fetch the content from the open side panel it knows to fetch the content from the page and answer you based on the content of the page so I'm here in the bloody elbow page bloody elbow is a news website related to MMA and fighting in general so let's say chat with current page as soon as I click this and I send a prompt it is going to um, scrape all the text from this page and basically turn it into a knowledge base and it can respond based on this so for example MMA icon Ariel Halwani shares official prediction for Tyson Fury so who is Tyson Fury fighting let's see if he knows how to respond now it is scraping the whole page and creating embeddings and it's supposed to respond in a second might take a few seconds and this is amazing because it's completely 100% local let's see over here you can change the model you can use speech to text according to the context Tyson Fury is scheduled to fight Alexander Yusik or however you pronounce it but this is correct which is very cool what else can I share with you about this um, you can check out the repository there is also like installation if you would like to clone the repository and uh, make adjustments this is possible but for me I mean this shines like the biggest benefit is the fact that it's a Chrome extension extension you can just go to the Chrome store and just click a button and you have Olama as a front end that you can start interacting with which is amazing um, this repository is gaining traction already 500, uh, 507 stars at the moment of recording the video and I'm sure it will keep on growing there are a few bugs I didn't share them with you because um, it's not it's not crucial anyway it's a new repository I didn't have too many expectations from it but I think it's definitely worth watching and this has a ton of potential just making the use of Olama way more accessible although it's pretty accessible right now but this makes it even more accessible and you don't even need to to download any any other form of web web UI that I've covered in the last few videos you can just click a button in the Chrome store and you can get up and running in no time so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it useful please like and comment below share any other insights or feedback always happy to hear your feedback and obviously if you haven't subscribed yet please do and that's it for today until next time keep on automating